Good morning. I'm actually live on the back porch of brilliant Detroit's Southwest Hub. And if it looks like I'm sitting in a classroom, I sort of am. This is where they've extended their Wi-Fi and are hosting educational programming this summer to prepare students for the fall, at which time many parents had expected to send their kids back to school in person. But with the rise of the Delta variant, now parents have to weigh the learning needs of their child with health risks. There is a hesitancy right now, and that hesitancy has everything to do with safety. Cindy Eggleton is the co-founder and CEO of Brilliant Detroit, which operates 12 neighborhood hubs in Detroit, offering support to students through tutoring, literacy programs, and digital hubs. We work with 7,500 people throughout the city, and we hear this every day, even our own staff. What should I do? How can I step into this? How can I get my kids what they need? as well as have them be safe. As COVID-19 case numbers rise, concern among parents does too. In Auburn Hills, Jeremy Mitchell has a 12-year-old who he says will be attending eighth grade in person. We got her vaccinated and, um, you know, we just felt like it's just a better educational process. She did virtual um, last year and it just seemed like she had a little bit more success going in person than she did doing virtual. Some parents are making the tough decision to keep their child home. Makai, he is a uh, special need, so I will keep him at home because he does have underlying health conditions, asthma and things like that, and he's not going to keep his mask on throughout the day. According to MichiganSchoolData.org, enrollment statewide has been on a steady decline for the last 10 years. Last year, enrollment took a sharp turn downward. With an official student head count of 1,437,612 for the 2021 school year. Now that's down 4.1% or more than 60,000 fewer students than the year before. Meanwhile, enrollment at full time virtual schools grew by nearly 10,000 last year. And since the spring of 2020, the number of households choosing independent parent and child led homeschooling has doubled. That's according to a U.S. Census Bureau survey from 5.4% to 11.1%. The biggest increase came in community of color. Black families saw a 500% increase in homeschool households, skyrocketing from 3.3% to 16.1%, in part because some public schools' virtual programming just wasn't addressing student needs. All of the research and studies are showing that, especially for families with kids that are black and brown or in low-income neighborhoods, it simply wasn't as well set up for them. It was inequitable before, and that shows through. Community resources like Brilliant Detroit are supporting parents and students no matter their decision. And we are doing outside programming right now. Funding from with the city, Rock, and United Way to be able to actually have digital hubs. And Community Foundation funded us to have a digital navigator. And that is to work with families one-on-one -on -one, as well as in a group. It's more than having a device. Well, here in the state of Michigan and throughout the country, the biggest decline was in elementary age students. The state of Michigan lost 15,000 kindergartners in enrollment last year alone. And a study done by Stanford and the New York Times found that the largest declines of enrollment happened in schools that were online open, uh, online only. But Brilliant Detroit is here in 12 neighborhoods here in Detroit to support students and families, no matter their decision. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson. Back to you.